Hello there, my name is Tamara Jane Kirkby, but I just go by Tamara. I recently participated in an internship experience this trimester. I was an events and marketing intern for social marketing at Griffith. This department is located at Griffith University's Nathan campus. I opted to work with this department every Tuesday. I am based on the Gold Coast, so it was required of me to travel to Nathan, which is about an hour or so away from where I live. I got up around 6am every Tuesday and I had to drive to the nearest train station, hop on the Brisbane airport train, get off at Altandi station before catching a bus into Nathan campus. So the effect of my internship's location was both a negative and a positive. Negative because there was a lot of effort involved getting to and from the location. I would leave my house at 7am and not get back home until 6 or 7pm. A positive, however, because it showed I was determined and eager to attend and learn. It was also beneficial for me because it improved my time management and organisational skills, you know, through planning how to get to my internship location, what time I would need to leave and what transport services were available to ensure I would get there on time. I initially wanted to do the one day per week for 12 weeks because I thought it would be beneficial to spread out my workload considering I had four other subjects plus a subject attached to the internship, which is 3001 GBS. However, it was fast tracked to be completed over eight weeks with some of the weeks requiring my attendance for two days per week. So I normally did a Tuesday and a Thursday uh, just because my supervisor was resigning and it made sense to complete my internship with her and avoiding a handover considering I had been working extensively with her prior to. My supervisor was Caitlin Yastudo, who was the marketing and events officer for social marketing at Griffith. Her role during my internship was organizing the department's annual conference called Change, and so my internship's task resolved, revolved around the organization of this conference. Some of my main tasks included writing emails to speakers regarding their attendance and sending through marketing promotions, writing social media captions to promote the speakers and conference sessions, conducting research on speaker gift bag ideas, stall holders and logistics for the conference such as lanyards and signage. I also attended a venue inspection where myself and some other ladies from the department went to Griffith University's South Bank campus where the conference was being held. Um, and we measured the grass to ensure all the store holders would fit and to ensure the lecture theatre had enough seats for all the delegates and that workshop rooms were suitable sizes as well. I chose this internship because event management is my major and I have a genuine interest in helping people and all things events. When reading the description for what I would be doing for this internship and when I was going through, when I was going through the application phase, I gravitated towards everything it described and it was actually my first preference. Um, I had a video interview with Caitlin Yastudo once I put through my top five preferences to GBS internships team and I found out the same day as my interview with Caitlin uh, that I was successful and that I would be granted an internship this trimester. This internship experience has allowed me to develop both personally and professionally. I feel like I've become more independent during this experience. I had to catch all these public transport services by, by myself. I actually got completely lost on the first day there and, and when I was trying to get home. I remember being so stressed and scared because I got the wrong bus on my way home and ended up further into the city and everything is so busy in the city and there's cars and buses and people everywhere so I had to muster up a lot of confidence and ask bus drivers when they stopped if they could you know tell me which bus to look out for that would get me back um, so I think confidence is a big attribute that I developed I think prior to this experience I was very quiet and shy and a head down worker you know I'm used to being told what to do so I just prefer it now and and it's easier to get things done if someone else just gives me a list of things to do. Um, but during this, ex this internship experience, I found I had to talk to a lot of new people and talk about myself a lot as well, which was good because I personally am trying to figure out who I am in life. And so having to talk about myself required me to think about that, which was good. I feel like I've come a long way because I've been able to think about who I am and who I want to be and what I want. So um, what I want to do, sorry. Uh, so I'm really excited for the next chapter of my life. I enjoyed this experience very much. It gave me an insight into what my life after graduation could possibly look like. I always knew I wanted to work in an office. I love administration tasks and helping people and being creative and wearing fancy business outfits and heels. So this internship experience has solidified the type of job I want to start applying for after I graduate. A personal strength that has improved during this experience was my interpersonal skills. Being able to communicate with so many different people and listen to so many people was really insightful and it meant that I could learn from industry people, develop my own skills and also learn more about myself. 
you know, communication and active listening are important skills to have in life and specifically in my chosen profession. So participating in this experience has helped me develop those skills further. I really did believe in jobs that no one noticed me and that they didn't care what I had to say or care what I thought. Uh, but this experience has showed me that that is far from true. Talking with the department team and research associates, people who people were always wanting to network and I thoroughly enjoy networking now. I've learnt how social I actually am, which is good to know now as I embark on the start of my career journey, which I'm sure will be filled with a multitude of networking opportunities. I actually sat down with the social marketing at Griffith office manager for my final exit interview because I stayed on an extra week after Caitlin resigned and she informed me that Caitlin had spoken very highly of me and in this week I got to work with her um, and she was very impressed with my proactiveness, professionalism, etiquette and demeanour that she was determined to talk to her boss, the founder of social marketing at Griffith, to propose I work for the department on a casual basis and assist with administration. Uh, she said she would have preferred to have me on full time, but knew the department wouldn't have the funds to support those wages. Um, I'm grateful for this experience, however, and the compliments in my exit interview. It made the whole experience that much more worth it because my hard work, determination and effort throughout was noticed and appreciated and that meant so much to me. Um, so if I'm not offered a role at this department, I am still very hopeful I will find something in the industry. I have a lot to offer as an employee and I'm very eager to learn as much as I can. I'm excited for what the future holds for me. So yeah, thank you so much for listening to my short reflection of the amazing experience I had in my internship ex um, this, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> let me rephrase. Um, thank you so much for listening to my short reflection of the amazing experience I had in my internship this trimester. All the best. <laughs>